yeah, from my vantage point, you see yellow tape draw across. I mean, you say the car there with the right, that's all. Yeah. This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything what you see up, my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple, me. What go on, my people? Hope everybody know, okay? Hope everybody know, right? So, I assume I couldn't know where I go on for the vantage point, the people. I assume I couldn't know where I go on, right? That's so. But I tell you something. I need to find one female, yes. I'm searching for a female because right now she's manless. You understand? Yeah, mommy. People might tell the truth. People might tell the truth to God love. She manless because one of her man drop out and the next one I got prison. So right now we know see her cat one little touchings. So we have to search for her and find a man girl name. Something there. You understand? So I'm gonna read news and I can know what go on in the news right there. So a 36 year old man has been charged with the fatal stabbing of an igla. He accused of having an affair with his girlfriend. Hold on. Me never know say girl clown still the boat. To a month a man in their prison out a woman that left her road. Only really a fight over one cat. No sir, this girl right. Was denied bail when he appeared in front of the brownstone court. Andrew Smith, yes, girl clown, big girl clown Andrew Smith of Top Liberty Valley will return to court on January 21st, 2021. So all who they behind bars, yes, and that Andrew Smith reached on the farm is a girl clown. Andrew Smith he is charged with murder in Gawain White, 39 of Steadfast in the parish. White is said to be the ex-boyfriend of Smith's current girlfriend. Remember them say, old broom no for sweet the corner best. You understand? So the lady that for run back. For White, for White, you are a proper fixed car. The boyfriend now, which is Smith, no know where I go on. The police report that the two women allegedly had a dispute over the woman in question at about 9 a.m. on November 14 in the vicinity of Brownstone. On juicy beef and the bus park. So well and the two wanna go for buy her party. Fish take your bus. You understand? And then those decide if you start fight, can you see man go buy the favorite party where she love? No sir, two and a two idiot. It is alleged that she was seen exiting the White's car on the day the incident occurred. Smith allegedly stabbed White several times in his chest. White was later pronounced dead at the St. Anthony Hospital while Smith was taken into police custody at the scene. And guess what? Guess what? The girl riding the next man already because two girl clown, one drop out and one day jail, and she just find the next man. She don't be with none of them. Woman was killed and her partner in the hospital after arm and open gunfire through a window of their house early Monday morning. Well on the people, me get a disclaimer out of the way. Me know now gonna say how is it that the house painting orange and green? One a PMP and one a labor right people. You understand the perfect couple. The perfect couple where it goes over politics. One is PMP and one is Labour right. The woman who is believed to be in her 40s has been identified as Kelisha Taylor. Resident called the police after hearing what sound like gunshot about 5 a.m. When lawmen visit the scene, they discovered the bullet red body of the woman while her partner was taken to the hospital. Investigations are ongoing, but resident theorize that the shooting may be linked to the dispute involving Taylor's partner, John Star. Ja, no people, me tell you the place I get bloody. You understand a whole heap, a whole heap of things are going on these days. Just as a look of soldier, brother, yeah? Remember, look of soldier, brother, we shot, look as an worker. Me tell you right now, people, it don't look pretty. It don't look pretty. The Jamaica Defense Force soldier involved in the fatal shooting of a man allegedly employed to the Azan Super Center in Castle last Thursday has retained attorney at law, Queen's Council, Peter Champedi and Richard Lynch. Did you know, man? You do, wait, wait, wait. You hear him get? Peter Champagne and Richard Lynch. This comes in the wake of an allegation of murder against him. When contacted for a response as the present situation of his client, Champagne declined to comment but took issue with the comment made by Azan Chief Executive Officer and Azan in an interview. Champagne noted that while we all enjoy the constitution right of freedom of expression, it was not unfortunate to pass judgment that the soldier had committed murder based on hearsay, which Azan himself admitted was the case. Yeah, from my vantage point, it's a yellow tape draw across. 
Ami asa dakia da 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 so. Yeah. Itu ni wabena wan shooting. So far ami na sina police. There but a car was there earlier. I move. So. You know. Okay. See one of the crime scene investigators eh. Yeah you see it. Something gone. Yeah detective them there. Alright. Uh, Ah boy, whilst we are grateful, me I go be honest with the people. The video journalist only had one job, just one job. Go closer to the crime scene so the people them can see what go on. You understand? Look how far you they stand up. Remember you them all the self stay behind the yellow tape, you know. Look how far the tape they from your brother. Why you they so far from the tape and you just come and a chat foolishness? Next time, you will tell you. Leave them thing you alone. Leave business alone. Use business alone. Put on your phone and go on them every way. People, while we say we are grateful, but the people them, they actually want to see what go on. You understand? We don't know what go on this about. We will find out what we'll the people them know. But this is something we can tell the people them about. You understand? The police them should have slapped with all 22 of them people. I'm telling the truth because they not here. The people them not here and who can't hear will feel. Yeah man, may I be honest with them, can't hear them with feel. Activity to the same time to South Division resulted in a woman being charged for a breach of the Spirit License Act and one man for breaches of the Noise Abatement Act on Thursday, December 19. Accused are 58 year old Christine Stone of Bay Farm Road, Kingston 20, and 70 year old Kenneth Campbell. People, I'm telling you, really go on this because the reporter now got tell you exactly. Right now, the police them got the all of the lobster. Yes, all of the lobster. We never prepared. The police them just need to get over the police station have a feast, people. Yeah, man. The police them need to do. A joint operation was carried out between the hours of 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. by police personnel from the Special Operation Branch Counter Terrorism Organized Crime Investigation Branch, TTAC. And the Jamaica Defense Force resulted in 22 persons being detained and warned for prosecution. All of them should have gone to jail. All of them should I get locked up and pen life in a prison because they not here. Two pieces of sound system equipment as well as 57 bottles of a started spirit were seized. The police continue to urge Jamaican to report illegal parties scheduled to take place during the festive season in an effort to prevent the spread of the big COVID-19 people because this is it at here on the whole place. And speaking of that people, oh, I'm going to need number first. When you can give the police them the information at 591 one five six seven one that are whatsapp them so you can whatsapp them and tell them if you don't want them have on the number so if you're not trouble you can call them back remember they must say up in england one new strain on it way people so to watch the people that we are come from england we are come down for part we do not tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend check us out